Run down by a driverless car. Tonight, a woman's death in Arizona has some questioning the future of mobility. 49-year-old Elaine Herzberg was hit by an autonomous vehicle that is supposed to stop for pedestrians. Could the tragedy have an impact going forward? 7 Action News reporter Brian Palmerini talked to the experts tonight in Ann Arbor. Autonomous vehicles created a big buzz at the auto show this year and here at the University of Michigan at M City. It's a testing facility for self driving vehicles. They do some premier research here and experts say while this accident is tragic, they don't think it spells the end for autonomy. Most of us have never been inside a self driving vehicle, but many find the idea appealing. I think, you know, regular cars will be off the road in, you know, 30 years or so. I've wanted to go in the self driving Tesla. Moving forward, I feel like that's where we're going in the future. The tragic accident involving a self-driving Uber happened in Tempe, Arizona. 49-year-old Elaine Herzberg was walking her bike across the street when she was hit and killed. Uber has pulled its self-driving cars from the roads in response, and they are working with police and the NTSB as the crash is investigated. There was a driver behind the wheel when the crash happened, but local experts say that could have contributed to the problem. That handoff has been shown to be a major problem with autonomous driving. Right? There's a, it takes time before the vehicle goes from a self-driving mode to turn it over to the actual driver. Lionel Robert is an associate professor at U of M School of Information. He does a lot of testing and work on self-driving cars inside M City on campus. Robert says a big challenge he and others are working out, the fact that cars don't communicate like people do. And that's the struggle. How can a vehicle go and communicate to you, hey, I, I see you, it's safe, you can go, or I don't see you. It's not safe. Robert and other drivers I spoke with say this tragedy isn't going to stop self-driving vehicles. People get pretty scared about headlines like this when people, you know, humans make have accidents all the time and those don't grab headlines like this. I think that it's really a matter of just like getting it right. If the autonomous vehicle does everything right, there will still be accidents and people are still going to die. Again, here at M City, they're doing work like this every day, and they say no matter how good the cars get, there will still be accidents. In Ann Arbor, Brianne Pomerini, 7 Action News.